Okay, today I'm gonna show you shortly uh, in a quick video how to set up your own little uh, personal um, network using a Linksys router or which any router you want. And uh, basically, it's not like I mean you could use it for internet access as well, of course, but um, uh, you could share basically share folders from your main computer or from any computer throughout your entire house. And I'm in the basement, so it, it actually goes up to the second story with two out of five bars, so it's not bad. And uh, basically, remotely, you can, and eventually, if I figure out, you can probably do remote desktop and remote assistance. Basically, can control, literally control your computer from another computer through this. Um, it's basically it's one of these typical standard Linksys routers. Just plug it in, plug the Ethernet, plug the power in, and then plug the Ethernet from there to your computer. It should just connect, it should go start broadcasting. So then once it connects, just go, once you set up the pr preliminary, just go to network and sharing. I have most of this already set up. Uh, this on, 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 I have it off because I don't have any printers. Uh, on, on, and this one basically so no randoms can get on your folders. Um, whatever your password and, and username for your actual computer, they have to know. So they don't know it, you know, they can't get on, but um, you may want to have a password on your computer for that for that matter. But then, uh, in that way, then go to computer, go to this public folder right here, and then right here you can add all your crap, and that's all in the public folder. So you can go to any other computer in the house and access it, and then you can basically stream video, music, and I got all my music in here. And then I have here, I have a, a shortcut to my, my C folder, or my C drive, which I have two hard drives, one for my operating system and one for everything else. And uh, how I did that, it's not just simply creating a shortcut, because that doesn't work. Go into computer, right click your hard drive, click share, click advanced sharing, and then you would obviously check this folder off, or this check mark, and say share this folder, okay. Now remember this, it's a universal naming uh, convention or something like that, UNC. You want to remember that and then uh, just write that down. Or, and then you would normally go into like, <clears throat> like for instance, I'll go back to my public folder. I would right click that, I would right click my, um, that, the shortcut, and then I would drop it right in there where it says target. So that way it goes to that, you know, and this would be on another computer, not not this computer. So I believe so, but as long as it's right there, it should be good. So anyway, um, hope that helps. And I'll be doing a little extra. I'll do like a part two showing uh, how to, because uh, you, it's it's one thing to put a password for your public folder, then it's another thing to encrypt your actual wireless, so no one can even connect to your router at all. So I'll show you how to encrypt that in the second part. Alright, for the second part of this, <clears throat> um, I'm going to show you um, how to encrypt the wireless network that you're using. And I didn't, I forgot to mention, um, yes, I'm using Windows Vista, um, and this will probably apply, uh, I don't know, quite differently for Windows XP users, but I don't have XP on me, so I can't really help you out there. I mean, if you need further assistance, you'd have to Google whatever your questions are. Because um, I never tried it under Windows XP. But anyway, um, first thing you want to check out is, again, go here, as I have two internet connections, um, or do the equivalent in Windows XP. Um, and I would look for um, my network 2 or whatever it's called, view st status, details, and for, is that? Yeah, default gateway. Typically, like the first 192.168.1.1 is a pretty common one. Um, so you just go into like a web browser and then just type it in. And you hit enter, 
for me, I set up a password for mine so you can't just drop it and change change things. But then you click on wireless. And then you would hit uh, wireless security and bring you to this. Change it from disabled to WPA personal. Algorithm's fine. This is fine. Type in a shared key. That'd be like your password. Um, type in whatever you want. And that's good. And then you would just hit save setting. Other than that, um, the other password you're going to want to set the administration. And you would type in a password here as well. This is where someone's connected to your router where they can't type in what you did when you type in your default gateway address and then they can't log in and, and screw up passwords because if they could easily log into your, your router itself they could just turn off the uh, the uh, encryption and whatnot but as far as I'm concerned I mean you'd want to put a password on your on your router as well so you put a password in the administration section and under management and then once you're done and then there's the UNPN as well Keep that enabled for NAT and then hit save setting. All right. Um, I'm going to show you how to access your files from that shared folder from another computer. Um, because my computer is over there, but I can do it throughout the entire house, which is kind of cool. The benefit would just be you can stream music, stream video. If someone's on the computer, you want to use the files. You know, you may, may be able to do remote desktop, remote assistance, and, you know, control things, and it's just, it's just pretty, pretty cool. Um, so basically, you're going to want to, of course, if it's the first time connecting, you're going to need to enter your shared key that you, if you encrypted your network, if you didn't, you know, oh well, but I already have it in, so it automatically connects for me, um, so it's already connected. Um, next thing you're going to want to do is go to start computer. And then for Windows 7's purpose, you know, or for its situation, I got go to network, and then drops down. See the only two on the network. Be this one in my Windows so it's the PC, and I'll just click on that. Now I've already logged in previously, um, but when you normally when you log in, if you haven't restarted yet, you went the first time logging in, it'll ask you for your username and password, and that'll be the username of your local computer or your your computer with the like that computer over there and it's password so you have to type that in it'll only take a second to log you in and then uh, I got my C drive my E drive my public and then I have you know like my public documents now I'm basically whatever is on here is over there which is kind of cool You know, these are all like my, I call them installers, basically all the things that'll install my tools that I typically use. Basically any of these I could just drag over like I've done one game booster from here. And then like I could, uh, I could just go to public music, I could go to iTunes 1. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but so yeah, I can stream music, video, whatnot. Basically, that's pretty much it. Um, so anyway, um, thanks for watching. Um, hope it helped you out.